So on day seven of this vacation, we are going to Norwegian's private island and the name of the private island. Great Stirrup K, Bahamas. Great Stirrup K, Bahamas. We're going to uh, Norwegian's private island. From the Midwest, I would call it Great Stirrup K, Bahamas. Stirrup, either way, whatever. Not the issue. What if I were to tell you? I'm nervous. <laughs> These guys are like, okay, what is it? What is it? No, it's called Great Stirrup Key. Oh Great Stirrup <laughs> Key. Oh my gosh. Where the key or a K? <laughs> key. How do you spell Florida Keys? K E Y S? <laughs> now I'm confused. If you're going to Great Stirrup K, it's called Great Stirrup Key. The Great Stirrup Key. The Great That's it. K. I don't know. C A Y would be K. But you're saying it's Great Stirrup Key. I hope yeah. we have a great time at. Great syrup key. <laughs> At that point, we'll see where we end up. Guys, oh my God! <laughs> they got their own private lifeboats with champagne. Do you have a problem with the way that? Yeah, it should be spelled K E Y if they want to say key. That's how it should be. Key. It was day seven, the last day of our NCL cruise, and the six of us were visiting Norwegian's private island, Great Stirrup Key, Bahamas. There were good things and bad things about our visit to Great Stirrup. Beautiful. Disgusting. And we're gonna tell you all about it. Today we are in the Bahamas at Norwegian's private island. Great Stirrup Key or Great Stirrup K. Depends on who you talk to. Cruise director Jack called it Great Stirrup K. Captain called it Great Stirrup Key. So, who knows? <laughs> it's Great Stirrup. We are at Great Stirrup Key. That is perfect day at okay, Royal Caribbean's private island. That has things on it rides, water parks, a balloon up and downer. A balloon up and downer? Yeah, I don't know what it does. You can go <laughs> up and down in the balloon. We have a Coco Cay video. Coco Cay is really fun. Gray Stirrup Key is a small private island in the Bahamas used exclusively for NCL's cruise ship passengers. As of right now, Gray Stirrup Key is mostly beach, so you can expect beach-like activities. Great Stirrup offers three food eateries, four bars, a small market, zip lines, and more, some of which we'll be going over later in this video. If you're going for a more luxurious, quiet experience, there are cabanas for rental and even a private area on the island called Silver Cove. Silver Cove is a newer addition to the island open to any guest who wishes to book one of the villas. There you'll find another beach, a lagoon, two more bars, a spa, and a private restaurant exclusively for Silver Cove guests. Today it looks like it be might be a beautiful day. We've been here before, a few years ago. Grey Stirrup doesn't have a pier. We have to anchor out and then take these boats and they ferry you back and forth to the island. Earlier in the cruise, we were able to schedule our tender number. Throughout the day, they call out tender numbers over the loudspeaker and inform you where to meet on the ship for your departure. We booked tender number 14. Escape cruises at this time, tender groups 12 and 13. So we're going to be going to the escape theater. We are gathered in the escape theater waiting to board a tender boat. Tender boats run back and forth throughout the day to and from the ship. And when you want to come back, you just wait in line to get on the next available boat back. Once you arrive on the island, food is complimentary. To purchase anything extra, you use your ship card. If you have a beverage package, it works on the island just as it would on the ship. The only thing I can think of that you might want cash for is the marketplace. There's a small market on the island where you can purchase souvenirs. Shore excursions. Don't you think that the beach looks kind of ugly? Disgusting. You expect me to go in that water? Ugh. Looks filthy. That's a joke. The water is beautiful and there's actually many picture-perfect photo locations scattered throughout the island. You can get some really cool photos from the beach and then your ship in the distance. I don't know, it's just, it's, there's something magical about it because the ship is just so big. The thing is so big, that's... But yeah. she said the other night. <laughs> well, my wife didn't say that, so. Oh God, no. After the buffet, she looked at my belly and said, that thing is huge. Immediately, we noticed that it took a long time at the bars. We might have to double up today because our free at sea came with the unlimited open bar package. Grab two of them. What's your favorite thing about Norwegian brandy? That you can get four drinks with two drink cards. And it doesn't appear to be any kind of limitation on how many drinks you can order, right? It just drinks up to $15 of value. That gets you pretty much everything. Nick and Kendra, they didn't get the drink package. And 
$3.75 for a Bahamas tax. Three drinks for $50. Yeah, I just got robbed. $50. So what'd you get? Something that's gonna be gone in two drinks. $49 for two of these and a Bud Light. Yep. And auto gratuity plus Bahamas tax. Be aware of that if you don't have the drink package. It's expensive. Great syrup key, as James tells me. You think you have a long time because it's 9 to 7 p.m. So you think it's gonna be an all day event, but it's not because it takes so long to get off of the boat. 30 minutes for your trip. So we didn't get here till 11.30. And then the last boat leaves to go to the boat at five. So you're kind of on a time frame. So that makes it shorter and you spend a lot of times in these lines. So your day kind of gets a little bit wasted. It seems like it's gonna be a long day, but it's not. We were waiting in line to get tacos, but there are a few different places to eat on Great Stirrup. There's a taco shack that serves tacos. There's a beach grill that is the largest and serves grilled items like chicken, hamburgers, and hot dogs, along with pizza, salads, and some sides. And then there's at least one other place I know about called Tropic Like It's Hot Food Truck. I didn't even know about this one at the time, but it serves sandwiches like fish, pulled pork, and chicken. I wasn't waiting in that taco line any longer, so I went to seek out the buffet. Would this line be as long as the others? Well, I was about to find out. Still waiting in line for tacos. Sorry. Well, that jalapeno margarita had a bite at the end. The food line, we waited a good half an hour, 40 minutes in line for tacos. It was long lines, but it only took me about 15 minutes to get through the buffet line. So, not too bad. They just got out of the taco line. I beat you guys. James had went to the main buffet, got food, came back, started eating. I got a couple hamburgers, some went chicken, some thing? Caribbean Word. style rice. I don't know, these tacos look good. You know when you get food and you like have to like shimmy because it's like the angry, the anger like left your body because you're not hungry anymore? So sometimes I eat and go, you don't sit down with your food and go. I do. Never. I do. So far, fish taco was good. Chicken, underwhelming. Tacos were good, but they weren't half an hour, 45 minute tacos. Yeah, it was a long time. The only one that I really cared for was the fish, but other, everyone else was saying different. Tacos were good. My tacos were super good. Uh, chicken wasn't very, like, wonderful, but. Meh. Not a whole lot of flavor there. There's a hot dog cart here, too. I'm looking at that right now. A lot of long lines for food and drinks. And I don't complain. Like, that's my biggest thing. Like, we always stay humble. We are very blessed to be on vacation. Um, but we have spent this entire time that we've been on this island in lines. I'm no longer interested in standing in lines, so yeah. I'll switch to beer. I'll, I'll switch stay to beer up. just so yeah. I don't have to stand in a yeah, line. Same. I like beer anyway. Pack ship, you're gonna have lines. You're just gonna have to learn to adapt and get two drinks at a time. Yeah. Don't get frustrated. Don't get upset when you gotta stand in line at a bar because everybody's doing it. If you're that <laughs> old, it's <laughs> or cutting or over there making yourself extra <clears throat> loudly known how horrible the service is. I can't believe this. This service sucks. Nobody wants to hear it. And it's not gonna make those bartenders any friendlier or move any faster. So far the food was a bit underwhelming and the lines at the bar were discouraging, but we're not the type of people to let that ruin our good time. We didn't have any excursions planned and weren't looking to spend a ton of money. That's okay though, because our plan was just to enjoy this beautiful beach on this beautiful island in the Bahamas. I felt it hit me. Oh, she gets shit on by a bird. You got I get shit on in you life. Gotta, you gotta get in the water now. Oh, no, don't touch it. I really want to get in this pretty water, but it's cold, isn't it? Oh, it, it's cold. But like James said, if the kids can do it, he can do it. I know I'm gonna get asked this, so I'm gonna answer it right now. Which beaches do we prefer, Coco Key or Great Stirrup? Although they're both similar, when it comes to just beaches alone, I'm gonna have to give it to Great Stirrup. But that's just my opinion. The beaches on both islands are gorgeous. I can't even pick myself up to sit on a swing. Did you see me trying to get up on that swing in Great Stirrup? Okay. Do it, I'm not strong. Can you swing at all? Swinging on those swings was not easy, but Dessa pushed me and I got some great memories out of it.
<laughs> it's hard. You have to keep your feet out of the water. You can't swim. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> oh, you know you're out of vacation. It's touching the damn water. <laughs> this is beautiful. Especially when the sun's out. And the water is beautiful, crystal clear. People are out there snorkeling, paddle boarding, laying on some rafts. There needs to be more chairs, which I know that is a big complaint on every single thing I've ever seen on this little island here. But it's a good beach day, I feel like. Everything that you wanna do other than just spend it a beach day does cost extra, so keep that in mind. The cost to rent stuff here is very pricey. Snorkel rentals, $37 per adult, 22 for a child. Kayaking is $70 four dollars per person a paddle board is 39 dollars a full face snorkel mask is 52 dollars for an adult child 37 best only nine bucks the rafts are 22 they're a little pricey i feel like great stirp k is really just a good beach day the beach is beautiful the water's phenomenal Kendra did go snorkeling out and then lost the top of her snorkel, so then she almost she said she almost died. There are so many cool fish out there. As I was drowning without the snorkel part of my snorkel stuff. Once you swam out and snorkeled yeah. far enough, there were a bunch of uh, sculptures yeah, out there. There's a lot of cool statues. Statues. Turtles and little boat parts and things like that. When you get all the way out, Far, there's like coral rocks that you Nick can see. Nick said it gets like 30 feet deep. How deep is it out? I don't know. Probably 30 feet. What? He asked me eight times if I was a good swimmer. Yeah, I'm a good swimmer until a certain footage. I guess you get tired. I sent him back and said, you sound like you're huffing and puffing. Please go back before you accidentally drown on vacation. <laughs> see, I wish that we would have brought our snorkel stuff so we could do that. But you know what James told me? <laughs> they weigh too much. Do you want to know how much a snorkel weighs? Like two pounds. <laughs> it's gonna turn up today. It's the last day. And we're on a beautiful island in the Bahamas. They have many bars around here that you can get like specific things. Like this is a Patron bar, there's a Bacardi bar, there's a Khalid bar or something. I don't know what that is. And then there's like little beer huts here and there. Kalik, K-A-L-I-K, that's what they're drinking right there. The Bacardi bar is the bar that has like cornhole, there's volleyball in front of it, there's a DJ over there at the Bacardi bar, that's so the party busy. bar over there, yeah. So there's more busy. seating over there like with umbrellas and that kind of stuff and it's like up on a platform so it's like made to look like it, the party bar I think. The line was crazy long. People are just getting drunk because these drinks are freaking strong. It is beautiful. I had a jalapeno margarita. <laughs> I can't complain. I just finished another $25 drink. Here I am. Grab two of them. They closed down the uh, tequila bar here at 3.30. The tequila bar closed at 3.30. The Bacardi bar remained open. As the day passed, more and more people left the island. At this time, eateries and bars were closing down and the beaches were clearing. We walked down to the beach in front of the lighthouse to check it out. It's a beautiful island. It's a good beach day, I think. Another stunning beach. Why didn't we walk down here earlier? At this time, a lot of people had started to head back to the ship, but what I've found with beaches is that the further you walk from the entrance, it's typically less crowded anyway. James thinks the further away that you're willing to walk, that there wasn't as many people. Before we knew it, it was time to get back on the ship. And this is the line to get back on the ship. Our last tender boat, they said, believe it. Was at five. There was a very long line to get back on a tender to come back, which was fine. I just sobered up in the line. If you're Haven, you get to bypass that long line. You get to bypass everybody because you're VIP. I don't know that I ever talked about the Haven, but the Haven is like this fancy schmancy place on the ship place where we're not allowed in. They got lots of secrets on this ship. The Haven is like this VIP section of the ship. To be invited to the party, you have to book one of these large luxury villas or suites in the Haven. As a Haven guest, you get your own 24-hour butler service. Oh, butler, I'm gonna need another bottle of your finest champagne. Priority reservations for entertainment and dining, stuff like that and you get access to the private haven spaces of the ship like the haven bar, restaurant, lounge, spa, and sun deck. If you're haven, you get priority. I'm not really 100% sure, but I know that everybody that had haven got to bypass our line and walk right onto the boat. I got my own boat! 
You don't see me waiting in any lines today. <laughs> It took about 20 minutes to get back today. <laughs> we were the last ones to get on, so we didn't have to wait for too long. And we go back on the ship. Although we spent a lot of our time waiting in lines, we still enjoyed our day at Great Stirrup Key. The beaches on Great Stirrup are gorgeous, and NCL has updated the island a lot in the last three years since we've been there. And the probably gonna continue to make upgrades in the years to come. We read a few things about NCL eventually building a pier. If we could do this port day all over again, we would walk the island as soon as we got there, just to get a good feel for the layout. Then there are a couple bars and eateries that we didn't get to visit, so we'd hit them up. And remember, this was just our experience one day on Great Stirrup Key. Yours could be completely different. We could have done more with our day, but hey, it is what it is. We had fun, that's all that matters. Besides, our last day of vacation wasn't over yet. We still had a few more things to cover about this NCL cruise. So Harvey met us down at the pool. We had some beers down there. Looking pretty good. It's, it's not over packed or anything. People are probably indoors packing or napping or getting ready for their last night of vacation. And then we went and watched the sunset and it was beautiful. Came out to watch sunset. It's our last night. We always try and watch a sunset sunrise type thing on our last couple days. And tonight it's the sunset because the sunrise is just too early when you've been drinking all day. He looks like a biker Rudolph. My plans for the rest of the night are going to be of this. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to watch the sun go down, take a quick shower, do my hair, and then I'm going to go eat the largest amount of food that I've eaten this entire trip. I'm going to eat at Food Republic tonight because they have like these firecracker shrimp that like I've been really thinking about the last couple days. They sound really good. And I love firecracker anything. Sun's getting ready to go down. See a ship in the distance right now. I wonder what ship that is. Looks really big. There's probably like a wild party popping off on the inside, and I wouldn't even know. But the sun is about to go down, and then Mama's gonna chow down on some food. Oh, the sun is getting low. It's getting low. It's looking beautiful. It's getting to my favorite part of the sunset right now. Right where it touches the water and goes down. It's not actually touching the water, we all know that, but that's what it looks like, right? Tonight, we went to Food Republic for our specialty dining restaurant. It was mentioned numerous times on the Facebook groups that I follow, and it's a different concept, which I actually didn't realize that when we walked in. They have a tablet and like a global food place. Like there was some sushi, Asian cuisine, like fusion, just a bunch of stuff put together. The food was very good. There was a lot of it. Like with your specialty dining, you get four items on the menu. So for a total of eight is what we got. And we did get a total of eight. It was a lot. And they just randomly bring them to you when they get done. So you might end up with like lots of plates of food out on your table all at once. Very good and very filling. I am so full. So many We've walked up and down our hallway um, three times now, and I'm not really sure what's going on, but one part of our hallway smells like straight vomit. Doesn't that make you want to vomit? This is the worst smelling vomit I've ever smelled in my life. It smells like it's marinating somewhere, and it just, it's all, it like, I dry heaved when I came in oh earlier. God. It is that bad. And then you get down the hallway a little bit further, and then it smells like dirty cat litter. <laughs> like, I don't know. So I, maybe that's Norwegian's way of making sure you stay in your cabin tonight. I'm not really sure, but we will not be exiting this room again. It smells that bad out there. We put our belongings out there for them to take. I'm very afraid that my shit's gonna smell like vomit. So we're putting our bags out to have them take them away because tomorrow morning we're out of here. It was nice sailing on you. Norwegian escape, but we gotta go. We're wrapping this series up. It's coming to its conclusion. I know I said we were gonna party hard. And I said that this was gonna be the greatest cruise vlog series of all time, but I'm sorry to let you down. It was fun. We had a good time on this cruise. It was an experience for us all. And I think that's what vacation's all about. It's about experiencing, living, trying new things that you wouldn't normally do. Vacationing is like, let loose. Just try something different. And you might be surprised what you learn, what you learn about yourself. <laughs> this was a good cruise. I hope that we covered it well enough for all of you. Well, Norwegian Escape, it was nice knowing you. We didn't get fully acquainted, 
but I think I know what you're all about. I love you. This definitely won't be my last Norwegian sale ever. What do you say, Brandy? Mm-hmm. You like Norwegian? Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, man, I didn't get any shots of the gym or the spa. Hey, we're not perfect. We're not perfect on this channel. I can show you some pictures. I'm getting too tired. Norwegian. Norwegian escape. It was good knowing you. Shit. I'm still recording. Good night, NCL Escape. It seems like you wait so long and then this part happens so fast. It's all kind of like an illusion though. It's going. It's disappearing. I kind of dropped the ball on this port day. It was the last day of vacation and we were just trying to enjoy it because we had a tragedy to deal with back home. And in our next video, we're going to tell you all about it. And that's about a wrap on this cruise. Mm -hmm.